All right, folks, so previously we installed this Silver Soul 110 white on to a LGA 1700 motherboard. In this video, we're going to do it uh, to an LGA 1200, which would be the same technique as you would for LGA 1151. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we want to do is install our CPU. And I'm going to take a close look at your pins, make sure they're not damaged. Looks pretty good. So we have our CPU here. This is the, I think it's a Pentium G6400. So nothing super spectacular. Now, there is a triangle located right there on the cover. And then we have this really small triangle here that we're trying to line up with. Regardless, reading left to right, uh, left side should be nearest the I.O. shield area. All right, so drop that in ever so gently. And looks like we're not squared up. So when we're done, when it's properly in here, I should be able to put my hands around where the green board part is in this frame and everything should feel pretty much on the same level. Once that happens, um, you can drop this down in here and hopefully the plastic thing will pop off. There we go. And hook that back in. All right. Put that in your box for safekeeping. Now, next step Next step is to start collecting all your gear that you need for an 1151 or 1200 installation. So we need the backing plate. Uh, right now it's set up for 1700, so we're going to have to fix that. We have our two brackets. The only other brackets that are included are for AM4, so you don't want those. Now in the box, should have had a set for LGA 1151-1200. We want these. Uh, make sure you don't grab the 1700 ones, which I previously used. They are ever so slightly different. So I think, folks, um, besides the, the back plate, you need these four uh, screws. They're special screws. You'll need the... I guess they refer to it as a plastic uh, bumper. Uh, maybe you could call it a plastic washer, spacer, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to show you how to do one of these. Um, and to save time on the video, I'll let you guys uh, do the other ones on your own. Now, there are two locations on here. Um, the furthest out is 1700, and the position closer to the center is 1151 or 1200. So we want to make sure we put this in here on the inner position. And you can ever so slightly see the difference between what 1700 looks like and 1151. So do all yours uh, like this one. All right, so I'm down to my last one here. And hopefully I did all four of them right. This is basically what it ought to look like for you. Now that we've done that, folks, we can... Um, Place this on the back side of our motherboard and flip it back over and drop it down. So we are off to a good start so far. Hopefully you guys are at, at home doing this. Today is uh, tax day and yours truly needs to finish that up. So. Try to do this video. That's where I'm headed. So, um, 
I believe the black face is supposed to um, face the motherboard as it's some sort of washer that's in there um, hopefully a protector protective covering for your motherboard so you'll screw those into the four posts that are sticking up you should see um, the silver side up it's almost like sunny side up right the bags silver side up ah uh, so our cooler folks we want it oriented like this all right now that means that these posts that are going to be on this bracket need to be mounted like so all right you see how that would go in there now i'm going to go ahead and drop this in and hopefully i use the right hole So there's really like two sets of holes on here. It should be the the ones that are um, closer to the top, I guess you'd say. It doesn't look like I'm lined up. I might have to break out the glasses, folks. You know we're here in trouble when you have to do that. All right. And I'm going to switch over to this other screwdriver. Alright, so it would appear that we need to loosen this one up. And maybe we'll just start all over again. That's uh, the way it goes sometimes, folks. So two sets of holes, all right, and if you don't do it right, you'll have to start over again like I did. And we are going for this one at the top, which you can't see, of course, because that hand's in the way. All right, so no matter what I do, the hand gets in the way. All right, so that's how that should look. All right, now that you've learned, and I've learned, we put our second ones in. We want to make sure that we use the right holes. All right, right off the bat. So I'm trying to get a couple threads in on that one, and then a couple threads in on this one. And then at the very end of this, folks, we're just going to make sure it's nice and tight. So I'm going to go back and do this one. And this one. All right. So they're tight. Now we need some thermal paste on here. All right, so this included uh, some thermal paste. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use a, another one that I have sitting around. But uh, you would use your thermal right paste that came with it. So we've got that ready. Now we can just go ahead and drop this in. And I'm using a number two here. I don't know how good our angle is for you guys to see that, but trying to get a couple threads in there and then coming back and doing the other one, a couple threads. Then I'm going to try and lift that up so it looks like it's in. Now we can start tightening these down. And I'm alternating, obviously. And 
and we're almost done. So that's on nice and tight. And this, you know, is causing that thermal paste to spread across the CPU and filling any gaps in between our CPU and our cooler. Now, uh, this is how these are going to go in, okay? This is the intake side of the fan, exhaust side, all right? And you can see some info about the fan here, 2,500 RPM, 4 pin, blah, blah, blah. But this is how you're going to stick these in, all right? Through that hole, through that, and it's going to be on uh, the face of the intake side, all right? Do that for the other side. Now, um, what we want is air to be sucked in this way, across this tower, um, through the intake side of the fan, exhausting out the fan and exhausting out the back of this cooler and then exhausting out the back of your computer right that's the back is going to be where the um, all these audio video inputs are okay so you want it oriented like this going in And you can do some uh, wrapping of your cable around here using using the brackets. Um, for this, I'm just going to make life a little easier and just drop this down. And then hopefully we'll get a hold of this thing and pull these in, right? And you're doing that for both sides. So we've got that done for both. Now, our CPU cooler on this motherboard gets plugged into this header right here. Come in 90 degrees to the motherboard, and it can only go in one way, and boom. I'll show you a close-up of what that looks like afterwards, all right? Hey, that's going to do it for this video, folks. You are good to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.